Yo, what's poppin? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are well. I'm making this video because, you know, I can take some losses in weeks. January, I was all in profit. February, I had one losing week. And in March, you know, the start of March, I'm down this week. It is only Wednesday. I've had a lot of profit that I could have closed for, which I explained in this video. However, I didn't. And I just want to tell you guys how to handle the losses how to kind of risk manage and get good artwork and all that sort of stuff. Just talk about all the trading stuff that you guys need to know. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe with the bell notifications. I'm now doing live streams on YouTube. We're trading the New York sessions as well, so make sure to be in those streams. We went off yesterday and it was crazy, so I appreciate all the support. And if you want any of the free trading groups or join the Discord for, you know, some insane stuff, links in description. But without further ado, let's just get into this video, baby. A few moments later. Okay, so let's talk about a few things that play into big factors. So it's only Wednesday. I've probably taken about, I'd say, three, four percent loss, risking one percent. So I always risk one percent. If you don't know how to risk one percent, then I will add a few risk management apps in the description that you can check out for any beginners or any people that don't risk manage. You guys need to always. Okay, there's no point in trading if you're not going to risk manage and don't take risk management like it's a bad thing You're going to be trading good sized lots. It doesn't really matter if you If you're using two big sized lots for your account Then you're over leveraging over going to margin and the broker's going to close you out and you've probably had loads of experiences with this So you need to go into the risk management app calculate your account size So you do your account size Okay, it's so easy account size then you go on and do so after the account size you do the pair so if it's XAUUSD gold you put that in and then you could do USD to CAD so you put US dollar in and then you put the Canadian dollar in so you've got your account size the pair how much you want to risk because it will calculate for you so you put 1% and then you put your stop loss as well. So with the 1%, all you need to do is put your stop loss because that is how r 2 is played out. So how far away. So this app will calculate from your, your stop loss to your account size, how much lots you actually have to use. And that's why it's really important because if you don't do this, you're not gonna be risk managing. So the trade that you put in, you could be losing five, 10% of your account size instead of 1%. And this is why it's a big factor to actually risk manage because of R to R. Something called risk to reward, but to shorten terms, R to R. And R to R is so important in trading. My trading strategy is 20 pip stop losses, can be volatile, you can hit a sales. But for example, this morning, and this is why I wanna talk about you know the journey and stuff. Yesterday I had 100 plus pips running, didn't close. That's 5% for me because 100 divided by 20 is 5. And that's how you work out your R to R. So every 100 pips is 5% for me, which is huge. 5% is huge. Had that yesterday, didn't close. SL break even. Another key factor which we'll talk about is the SL entry for a break even trade. But going back to the R to R and my experience this week, I didn't close that plus 5%. Come back, SL entry, closed me a break even. Yes, it wasn't a loss, but then this morning, okay, like just about an hour ago, I enter sales in the morning. We jump in, we're in sales, we go to 140 pips. So if you do 140 pips divided by 20, it's it's seven percent. Okay, so we're on seven percent. I held it because my take profit was 200 pips for a 10 to 1 trade. 200 divided by 20 is 10. 10%, so every 200 pips is 10%. I'm trying to not make it complicated, trying to make it really simple for you guys to understand. If you don't, then just play it back and um, you will understand, I promise you. And if you risk manage, then you'll start to understand. And watch my live streams on YouTube. I'm gonna start streaming all the time, New York sessions, baby. But I didn't close. So that's two trades in two days where I've got one SL entry and then today I lose minus 1.5% because I extend my SL. So my R2R 
stays the same. But my SL extended by 10 pips, which is 0.5% added on. So that's a minus 1.5% loss. So within those two days, within less than 12 hours, let's say, I had a 100 pip trade and a 140 pip trade. And with both of these trades, I held with S with SL entry on the first one. And then on the second one, I was risking 1.5%. SL hit. I could have taken 240 pips, 12% in a 12 hours. That is my trade strategy. I could have taken 12%. So like, you know, my members, if they needed the profits, they could have taken the profits. Um, but that's up to them as well as individual traders. Just because you follow someone, you can actually use, you know, your own initiative. If you feel, if your account's down a lot, then, you know, for sure. Close some nice trades. There's 12% right there. However, I didn't, which is why I want to talk about this experience. So I could have got 12%, didn't. Now I'm down minus 1.5% today. And I'm going to be trading in like half an hour for the New York session. But what this boils down to is like the risk management. As long as you're risk managing, it's fine. It's okay to take losses. It is okay to take losses. It is annoying. However, my mindset is that you just got to forget about the loss and just focus on the wins. Like I said, I could have had 12%, but now I'm down this week. If I closed both trades, I would have been up. Would have been happy. I wouldn't even need to trade for the rest of the week or month because it is 12%. But I continue putting that trade loose. And now I've just got to reset my mindset and go again. And forget about, say if you take two, three, four losses in a row, just forget about that. It's fine. It's okay to take losses. You know, markets are very volatile due to world news, due to just, just what's going on in the world at the moment. It's crazy, you know. So if you've got a tight SL with 20 pips, it can be difficult to trade. But I just want to say, if you do take losses in Forex, it's absolutely fine. There, there's no rule to say you can't. So you've got to rub it off, change your mindset, and then move forward on that. And that's why it's so important to never give up with trading, but also to have good risk management, good R2R. -R. SL always at entry. And yes, if you get them things done, then, you know, with a 20 pip SL, you can easily get 100 pips in a gold range easily however i aim for like two three hundred pips to make 10 15 percent per trade backfired this week but i stay in the same trading plan i don't change up i don't close early might close early now because i'm down this week so far so probably will close a trade for about 100 200 pips close out very very nice and then you know just move forward to the next week you can take wins as, as i said the other week i was up 22 percent i've been up all through January, I didn't have a losing week. February, I had like one losing week. And then the start of March, you know, I had a really good week last week. Um, but this week, I'm down. But as I said, it doesn't matter. I'll get there. It's only Wednesday. I've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and NFP Friday this week as well. So make sure to join my live stream. So we'll be live streaming trading that. But it's been your boy TJ. I hope this video helps a few of the people out there that, you know, might struggle with being too hard on themselves and you know saying that they can't trade because they keep hitting stop losses don't give up get your risk management in play get your market direction on your charts risk reward i'll help you guys in the discord free trades i'll, I'll do like a a free trading live streams like i am on youtube i try my best to help all of you guys out hey boys tj much love on all the support you guys showing on all the videos because it's crazy you know you guys my numbers are crazy right now so i appreciate you and uh yeah Take it easy. I'll catch you in a bit, baby.